Um, our second lesson, I guess, and that was a quite a long double, is a short one, and it's called Higher Purchase. And again, we've done that stuff last year. It's really only a, a recap from last year. So Higher Purchase, HP, um, is, is something that a lot of people use. Say I want to buy a laptop, a, a car, a washing machine, a fridge. Okay, If I don't have the cash, okay, what I do is I put in a deposit, Okay? And then I pay every month a certain amount for the next year or two or maybe 10. Okay? Now, the interest rate could be anything. There's different interest rate. There's different amount of years they ask you. But higher purchase is, as far as I know, always simple interest. Okay? So here, if they talk about HP, higher purchase, you have to assume, unless they tell you differently, that it's simple interest. So we're only going to use the simple interest form. Okay, so we're just going to do one exercise, the rest I'm sure you'll get. Okay, so let's say I bought a laptop. Okay, by the way, we're in page 211, exercise 2. So I bought, I bought a laptop uh, for 16,000 Rand. They asked me to put a 10,000, a 10% deposit, so I have to put that money up in front. And then they told me I also made 24 monthly payment. You know, you pay every month, you don't pay at the end of the two years. Okay, you pay every month, two, 24 months, two years. And the interest rate is 22% per annum. And they say it's simple interest, but even if they didn't, if they say it's higher purchase, I have to assume that it's simple interest. How do we know how much do I have to pay every month? Okay. So, we, like I told you every time, what is it? 16,000 Rand, what is that? That is your P. Or oh, actually, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Is it your P? Did I borrow 16,000 Rand? Did I borrow it? That's the cost of the laptop. But I didn't have to borrow all the money of the, for the laptop because, correct, I paid a deposit. Okay? So I already paid a 10% deposit. I didn't have to pay the whole 60, I didn't have to borrow 16,000 Rand because I paid 10% of that. So first of all, I need to figure out how much money did I borrow from the shop to pay the shop. It sounds a bit weird, isn't it? So if I pay 10%, 10% of 16,000 Rand, that is 0, 0,1, right? 10% is 10 divided by 100. 0, 0,1 times 16,000 Rand, and that is equal to 1,600 Rand. That's the amount of money I've put cash on the table. So the rest, you know, it, the cost was 16,000. I put 1,600. So the amount that I had to borrow from the shop Okay, so A is going to be equal to 16,000 minus 1,600. Okay, use a calculator for that, guys. Okay, 16,000 minus 1,600, and you get 14,400. That is 14,400. That's the amount of money I borrowed from the shop. The cost of the laptop, don't get confused here, the cost of the laptop was 16,000. I had to put 1,600 cash. That means the rest of the money I will have to pay over the next two years. So I'm not going to pay just that. I'm also going to have to pay interest. So if you're going to go and say, okay, I borrowed 14,400 Rand and then I'm just going to divide by 24 months, that's going to be completely wrong because obviously they charge you interest. So that is your A. Sorry, not your A, your P. That's the amount of money that I borrowed in the beginning. P. Okay. Great. Your interest is 22%. So that's your R. Your I is 0, 0.22 divided by 100. The time, okay, what is your time? 24 months. If you use 24 months, you will make a mistake because the interest is calculated per annum, per year. So you have to work with years. So your N is going to, I'll write it down here, N is going to be equal to two years. You're working with years. Okay? Your I, the interest, is 22% divided by 100 is 0 0.22. Now we can try and find out A. Okay? What is A? A is going to be equal to P, which is 14,400 times 1 plus I, which is 0 0.22, times 2 years. We can put that all in the calculator. I'm sure you guys know how to do that, working with the brackets. Okay, so 14,400 times, open brackets, 
1 plus 0, 0,22 two times 2. You can make some shortcuts here, but I won't. And I get 20,736. 20,736. That's the amount of money that eventually the laptop cost me. Not even. It's even more than that. That's the amount of money I will have to repay the shop for lending me that 14,400. But don't forget that in the beginning, I also had to pay that 1,600 Rand deposit. So if they were to ask you, what's the total amount of money that the laptop cost me? It will be 20,000, so that's 1,600. Okay? That's just over, if I'm not mistaken, 21,000 Rand. Just think about it. Laptop that costs, suppose that the cost is 16,000, actually uh, ends up uh, costing you more than 21,000. Think about that. If you're not paying straight away. Really? Save money first and then pay it cash. If you can. Right. But that's not the question they asked me. What they asked me is what are my monthly payments? So my monthly payment, it's an easy question. Monthly payment is going to be that amount that I borrowed from the uh, shop divided by, correct, by 24. Okay? But if I had to pay that over 24 months, every month, I'm going to have to pay 864. 864, and hopefully I didn't make a mistake, that's the answer. Just going to pause here and see if there's anything else I need to add that I forgot. Okay, um, I'm just going to add one more little example. I'm not going to solve it completely, or I'll get you started, just in case you know some of you struggle with that in exercise. So this is example of a mobile phone, costs 8,000 Rand. If you ask my, me, it's way too expensive. Mine costs 750 and it's perfect. It's doing these lessons now, okay? So 8,000 phone, uh, you have to put a deposit of 800 Rand and you have to pay 36 monthly payment of 344 Rand every month. Yo, that's a lot, okay? And the question was, what's the interest calculated? That's what we want to know, the interest. So let's just get it started. So, if I pay the 800 deposit, then I didn't borrow 8,000, right? How much did I actually borrowed? What would be my P? Okay, the initial amount that I borrowed, it would be 8,000 minus 800, which is 7,200 Rand. That's, that's my P, okay? That's my P. Uh, 36 payment, okay? 36 monthly payment, that means that's your N, the number of years, because we're working with interest per annum, eventually. So we are going to work with years. How many years is that? That is uh, three years. Is that right? Oh, yeah, three years. Okay. So I want to know now. So I know N. I know P. I want to know what I is. That's what I'm trying to look for. All right. And then I can calculate R. So I'm still missing one thing, isn't it? I'm missing A. I need to find out A. What is A? A is the amount of money that I paid back to the shop. I borrowed 7,200. I paid A. How do I calculate A? Well, they didn't tell me what A is, but they told me that I paid 344 per month over 36 months. So I can calculate A is 36 times 344. And that is equal to, I'm just going to uh, steal it from the book, 12384. Okay, so that's the amount of money that I borrowed from the shop, 7200 That's the amount of money that eventually I'm paying back. It's almost double. Check that out. Almost double. Okay, how do I find I? We're working with simple interest, so I put 12384 equal P, which is 7200 one plus i time three, so three i. Okay. Now, guys, that's a simple algebraic equation. Okay, I've got number, number. I have to more. Uh, I can divide by seven thousand two hundred minus a one divided by three. I'll get an i. I'm going to leave you to do that and exercise like that. Just don't forget that eventually I want the percent in percent. So I need to multiply my i by a hundred. Okay. Have a lovely day.